What's up guys and welcome back to another video and today Swindon have made their ninth sign in of the summer, Saidu Khan. Hey Swindon fans, the Gambians in town. And uh, this is a sign in I'm really really happy with, it's an outstanding player, he just he deserves to be in League One. We have made the absolute perfect sign in and I'm glad that he's here. So uh, if you didn't see, for the past few days he was linked with us. And uh, he did say uh, on one of his posts that he was leaving uh, Chesterfield and he, either had to he was either joining Swindon or Oxford. And also he's joined Swindon, right choice. So last year with his time at Chesterfield, he did uh, have 37 appearances and he bagged six goals for uh, the National League side. And he's also played for teams like um, Dorwich Chamler. And also, if you haven't seen... Um, Swindon by ball. Here's one of his goals that he scored against Blackpool. Said, look out for the number 18, Saidu Khan, and he's just scored an absolute beauty. Bouncing ball, half volley, pick that one out, and the Maidstone fans have. So now we have signed them. We do have a friendly that is playing tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be at Eastleigh away, and uh, it won't surprise me if Saidu Khan will be playing then. I am not sure. Hopefully he gets all the game uh, time in the league that he deserves because he's an absolute outstanding player and I can't I can't believe that he's here. Saidu Khan is another midfielder, so this might mean that Jack Payne might go because um there was there's been some news that he is going, uh, but it could change unless we uh, get into sign the contract. Hopefully it does happen though. But in my opinion, I think this is the first time we've actually spent a lot of money on transfers because um. We always used to let players out for free and we always used to bring in players for free but at time, this time it's always undisclosed fees which is re really good to hear because this means we actually finally have the funds to um, sign at players with real money. And there's a fact in all with Saidu Khan, he did have two trials with um, MK Dons and he did fail both of them. I don't know how though, he's an outstanding player and if he was at MK Dons right now he'd probably be one of the best there but because he's so good. He's only 26 and also, obviously, he's got uh, a, f a few years left to grow uh, as, a uh, as a player with his abilities, so I can't wait to see what he's like. So what do you guys uh, think about the signing? Do you think it's a perfect signing or do you think it's um, a bad signing? In my opinion, I think it's a good signing, but it's probably a sign that one of our midfielders is going to go because we have way too many midfielders now and they're not all going to get game time. So I reckon probably... Jack Payne will go. All the news has been about him going, uh, but hopefully we can give him a good wage for him to stay here. So some more transfer news. Swindon are set to sign 26-year-old forward Tommy Adeloye. So uh, yeah, he's currently without a club, but he's been playing for teams like Air United in uh, Scotland, uh, Mill One, the Thirteens, uh, FC United in Manchester. So um, yeah. In his career, he's had 24 goals, 6 assists, and uh, a fact about him, he's had uh, a goal every 274 minutes, so yeah. So we just sound alright, hopefully we can sign him and a few more attackers because I feel like we need to sign attackers now because we can't rely on McCurdy, Shade and Massey. I've said that in the past few videos, but yeah, it is true. So if we do, hopefully we do sign him because we need attackers. And also that... Um, Adi, Adi Loye was really good at, um, at United, probably one of the best um, teams that he's played for and uh, best performance. So hopefully he could come to Swindon and do the same. And also, um, I'm not sure if I've pronounced his right, name right or not. So uh, if I have pronounced it wrong, just let me know in the comments. And some more transfer news. Uh, Rob Hunt is on trial at um, Crawley, so he's most probably going to sign for them. So in my opinion, I think it would be the right decision for him to go because I don't think he'll much get, get much game time. So yeah, that's what I think. Rob Hunt was a player that um, Crawley tried to sign in 2017, but they failed to do so uh, after losing their battle to um, uh, Oldham to get him. But it could change this time, they could actually sign him. That's the price for me though. After five years, they still want to try and get him. That's it's pro They probably think he's really good. and I'm not wrong. They're not wrong either. Obviously, he's been at Swindon for years. We'll be devastated if we go, but we've already got loads of defenders and all that, like Reese Devine. 
So guys, that is the end of the video. Just some main news. Uh, Tommy Adeloye, Adeloye could be joining Swindon and the main one, Saidu Khan, has joined Swindon as the ninth sign-in of the summer. And one thing before uh, I end the video, um, on the 9th of August, I will be going to watch uh, Warsaw away um, on on a Tuesday night. It's, I think, yeah, 9th of August in the Carabao Cup. So obviously I can't wait uh, for that now. Uh, hopefully I can see you guys there. So that's the end of the video. If you did enjoy, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 750 subscribers. And it mean a lot if we get there. Anyway, have a great day. You know what to do, chill.